home of the Liberty Bell, the Cheese Steak, and so much more. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is the site for this matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Quarters formation here for the defense. First and ten. The handoff to Willis McGahee. Getting that first first down in the game, to me as a quarterback, was a lot like completing that first pass. It just feels good, uh, eases the pressure, puts you in rhythm, and you hope it keeps going from there. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. Here's the safety inching up for this play the throw to the left that's a gain of six well it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down we were in a production meeting yesterday with Peyton Manning and it's never a dull moment is it well it's it's like this in a production meeting ask him a question and he's gonna tell you everything and it's, it's great you know it's a lesson in learning football and I tell you when you're listening to it it also tells you that there's nothing that he doesn't look at to try to get an edge when he's playing in the corner. Third down now. They hand it off to the running back. And that's a tackle by Namdi Asamoa. Nice job that time by the ball carrier, getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down, keep the chains moving. Got him behind the line of scrimmage. This will be second down. Back to the ground. Up the middle. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and 11. Looking for an interception. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver, makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception. Stops the clock right away with a timeout. Hey, let's go, base 24. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. First down here. Gun, gun, gun. 
Looking to the right side and throwing. Reaches in, swats it away. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Here, a split backfield. Eagle, eagle. The defensive line getting very congested, expecting a run right up the middle. Trying to work. Balls picked off. Not giving up another end. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Nickel formation here for the defense. They'll go shotgun here. The quarterback throws to the right. Thrown incomplete. They bring in an extra defensive back. Second down and ten. Willis McGahey gets it here. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Look out, Blitz. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. That was a terrible job that time by the offense. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Uh, the play is there. The players just did a terrible job of executing. The Eagles are getting set for their next possession. Offense lines up here. This is a five-step drop back. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab, and he's taken out of bounds. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. First down here after the completion. Drop back, shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. He makes the catch. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. From the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? Hey, they better be creative, that's all I know. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. Running back gets it on the handoff. Takes it across and he's in for the touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. And the point after is good. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. He will run this one back. He's 
brought down. The Broncos ready to take over the football. Defense crowd the line of scrimmage. Look out, this could be a blitz. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The quarterback's calling something out. First and ten. Peyton Manning looking down the field. And it's off the mark. Offense lines up here. Dropping back to throw. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. Third down and ten. And the quarterback is taken down. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. about this they're trying to pick up the first down on fourth down they're getting the punt from the gun looking for an awesome wall. picks off that pass and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field that interception is strictly on the quarterback when you make bad decisions i don't care how good you can throw the football the results usually it's going to turn into an interception they're trying to confuse the offense here. Look at everybody crowding the line of scrimmage. Offense lines up here. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And it's DJ Williams who makes the tackle. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? From the shotgun, looking to the right. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer is more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They pad the lead with that touchdown. Inside of the uprights. And after that extra point, the Eagles lead by 14. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Broncos come on to the field for their next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. Now first and ten. The quarterback, quick toss to the outside. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the left. I think they're expecting a run. 
when you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third and two here after the run. Staying on the ground. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. At, now we've got a fourth down situation. The quarterback has his team's attention here. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Five-step drop. The defense is showing blitz here. Second down coming up. Second and ten. The give to the running back. Slips past one player. Tackle down right around the 48. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Richard, Richard. First and ten. Gets it again here. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Reset it. Reset it. Reset it. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The quarterback throws the pass. They tackle him for a loss. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Play action fake, looking to throw. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. To the ground here. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. No good. An empty trip for the offense. Split backfield here. First down and ten. The defense gets a sack. That is a huge sack for the quarterback to take. Not only that, bad blocking up front. They just let him run through there. They didn't even try. And the clock keeps moving. Tough situation now for the offense. Right 
Looking across the middle, that ball was going the other way. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Something we've seen from the safety before. Ready to pounce on the snap. Trying to work the middle of the field. That catch will keep the drive alive. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Quarters formation here for the defense. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. This play set up by the long gainer. First and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. They deck him in the backfield. And the offense will call a timeout. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. And now they'll try over again on second down. The formation here, shotgun. He fires it in there tight. Shoved out of bounds. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Offense now in the red zone. Third down and two. McGahey then picks up a bound three. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Out of the shotgun formation. Going across the middle. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Challenging the defenders to the right side as the catch, but the feet are not down. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The quarterback hands it off on the draw. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Well, when you get this close, it'd be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Touchdown and drawing close. All you need is a small window down near the goal line when you're hooking up with the tight end. That time the window was small. The tight end did an excellent job of keeping the defender on his back and he gets the touchdown. He made it. Offside. Defense. The defense a little jumpy right there. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. Give that last hit to DJ Williams. Split backfield here. 
Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun, working that left side. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. So that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles are up in this one. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. We're back here now in this one, where the Eagles are leading by seven. Broncos come onto the field now for this next series. They'll go with the extra tonnage here, with the jumbo set. Now first and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Now the offense in their hurry up. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and 13. Back to the running back. Gains 12. Good job by the running back that time. Breaking tackles, finding the open hole, and picking up those extra yards. Third down, following the run. It's a throw all the way. That catch, good for a first down. They pounce on him there. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle, and you give up a long game. you got your players in position. That's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. First down, following the long play. First and ten. Hand off to the back. That's a gain of eight. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Right there. The defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone. He's looking to the right here on this row. Denver Broncos in for the score. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The flag is out. Extra point is good. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Shove to the sideline. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Offense lines up here. Second down and ten. And he wants to throw it across the middle. And that's a gain of nine. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. He does not get a first down. But it sure makes third down a lot easier. It's third down coming up. That's a pass all the way. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That's a tackle at the 48. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Running away from the pressure. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, defensive tackles so many times are in charge of stopping a run. But not this time. The big fellow, good move at the snap of the football. Gets in that backfield and gets the sack. Out of the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Eagles now move the chains. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. With two hands, he has it. These first downs add up. It's like body punches in a fight. You keep hitting guys to the body. They get tired. They give up. 
That's what's happening to this defense right now. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down and ten. Getting away from the pressure. That's a gain of eight. That was the proper thing to do. Dive for the end zone. Be careful when you're down in close. Don't reach out with it unless you know you can cross that end zone line. You don't want the football to get knocked down. And he's in. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up, put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Here they come. First down on the way. Yeah. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. Squeezes it into coverage. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. After that grab, it's now second down and two. We'll go ground. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Knocked down. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm. Disrupt the timing. And what do you get? Another incompletion. Bells, bells. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Another carry here. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Not sure why they're going to go for it at this point. But they are. They're not going to punt. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. Play number six coming up on this drive. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Gains 12. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and ten. The quarterback throws the pass. Incompletion there, just not quite able to get the feet down. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second and ten. It's handed to the running back.
15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. And welcome back as we're about to get underway here in this one. That is play number 10 on this drive. Ball's out. Trent Cole gets to the quarterback. Brought down by Trent Cole. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumbling the football in a situation like that. The Eagles getting set now for their next series. They come to the line, and it's first down. The handoff, running behind the tackle. Vaughn Miller ends the play. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. picking up more than 60 yards on the previous play. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. From the red zone. They look like they're loaded up for the blitz here. Second and nine. Looking across the middle. Six in the books. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown. It's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. And it looks like the kicking teams recovered the onside kick. Eagles get ready to start their drive. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The play clock's running down. He's scrambling down. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Fix looking long. Staying with them stride for stride, and the pass is incomplete. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Hey, let's go. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. The defense comes out of the dime. Second down and ten. McCoy. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Getting set as fast as they can. Here, a split backfield. Base 24. Let's go. Base 24. 
He drops back to throw right where it had to be. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Extra DBs all over the field. First down and 10. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two on the play. They've come out in the dime package. Right 20. Right 20. What is it? Second down and 12. Going to lose yards here. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Loss of two. Play number six coming up on this drive. Right 20. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Third and 13. Fix looking long. A takeaway. The tackle is made. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. First down coming up. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. And now looking to throw. That ball has been picked off. That'll stop the play right there. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes. And it led to an interception. First down here. Dropping back three. Scrambling out of the pocket. And he's knocked out of bounds. Number seven with the carry. Loss of four on the play. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Eagles in for the score. Boy, the defense is going to be upset after this long touchdown throw by the quarterback and receiver. They made a mistake out of position, and the offense took advantage of it, and they get the long throw for a touchdown out of it. The Eagles for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. And after that extra point, the Eagles lead by 23. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team has the recovery. The Broncos getting ready now to start their drive. First down, offense ready for the snap. The quarterback's calling something out. Eyeing that left side. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. 
They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down following that incompletion. Looks to his left, and he's intercepted. The quarterback throws to the right. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The quarterback has his team's attention here. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. On the money. Jim, that was some job of making the catch and holding on to the football. You could hear that hit all the way up here in the booth. Split backfield here. First and ten. Trying to work the middle of the field. Ball spotted away. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Second down. Play action fake and dropping back the throw. Jeremy Macklin takes the grab. They bring him to the turf. This is where an offensive coordinator's got to be smart. You get in the red zone, you got a big lead. Just worry about the clock. Call very safe plays. And it's the Jim, I think this is a blitz. Look how close everybody is to the line of scrimmage. Here's the first snap after the big play. They'll go shotgun here. Going across the middle. Lucky that did not get picked off. Double coverage. Number seven throws into play. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. Challenging to the never too late. That's a touchdown. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late in the game like this to put it away, it's time to celebrate a little on the sideline. And the extra point is good. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squib kick. They break it down at the 41-yard line. Broncos are getting set for their next possession. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Drop back, shotgun formation. Reaches out and snatches it. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. The corners retreating. 96 Quarters formation here for the defense. Now first and 10. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. I know at home a lot of people are saying, well, why are they running the football in a situation like this? Because they're down by multiple scores, and they don't want to get their quarterback killed. They'd like to see him play next week, so they're doing a good job of managing the game here. Second down and seven. Quarterback drops back, play action. The interception. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. 